Given theta equals 225 degrees, determine the following. We'll first ask to determine the reference angle of the given angle and also determine the quadrant of the terminal side. Let's first sketch the angle in standard position. In standard position, the initial side is along the positive x-axis. And then from here, because the angle is positive, we rotate counterclockwise 225 degrees. Well, half a rotation counterclockwise is equal to 180 degrees, and therefore we need to rotate another 45 degrees counterclockwise, and therefore this is the terminal side of 225 degrees. The reference angle for 225 degrees is the acute angle formed by the terminal side, and in this case, the negative x-axis. And because 225 degrees minus 180 degrees is equal to 45 degrees, we know the reference angle for 225 degrees is this 45 degree angle here. So let's go ahead and record this. The reference angle is 45 degrees. We're also asked to determine in which quadrant the terminal side of the angle is in. This is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is quadrant three, and this is quadrant four, and therefore the terminal side is in quadrant three. And now we're asked to determine the exact value of sine, cosine, and tangent of 225 degrees. Let's first find these values using a reference triangle, and then we'll also verify we get the same results from the unit circle. So let's go ahead and sketch the reference triangle for 225 degrees, which would be this triangle here. Notice how we have a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle. So looking at our notes here, we can label the two legs positive one and the hypotenuse square root two. But in this case, because we're in the third quadrant where both x and y are negative, both legs will be negative one, not positive one. So because x is negative, this leg is negative one. Because y is negative, this leg is negative one. And the hypotenuse is always positive, which is square root two. So now let's find these three trig function values using this reference triangle, and then we'll verify them using the unit circle. The sine of 225 degrees using the reference triangle is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is negative one divided by square root two. The cosine of 225 degrees is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is also negative one divided by square root two. And finally, the tangent of 225 degrees is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which is negative one divided by negative one, which is equal to positive one. And just in case you are required to rationalize the denominators, let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator of negative one divided by square root two. To rationalize the denominator, we multiply the numerator and denominator by square root two, which gives us a negative square root two, and then square root two times square root two is equal to two, giving us negative square root two divided by two. And again, let's verify we get the same results using the unit circle. So again, let's go ahead and sketch the angle in standard position, where we have the initial side here, and the terminal side is here, rotating counterclockwise. Notice how the terminal side intersects the unit circle at this point here, where in the unit circle, x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. And therefore, sine 225 degrees is equal to the y coordinate of negative square root two divided by two. Cosine 225 degrees is equal to the x coordinate which is also negative square root two divided by two. And then tangent 225 degrees is equal to y divided by x, which gives us negative square root two over two divided by negative square root two divided by two, which does simplify to positive one. So of course we do get the same results whether we use a reference triangle on the coordinate plane or the unit circle. I hope you found this helpful.